What's going on YouTube? It's Tyler from Antenna Man. I'm going to explain the three types of TV antennas that exist. First of all, there's no such thing as an HD antenna. So if you're looking up on Amazon HD antenna, you're just going to get a bunch of few cheap models that are kind of marketed with the term HD. That will show up prior to more durable models from Channel Master and Wineguard. Ultimately, there are three different kinds of television antennas. There are VHF low antennas designed to pick up channels two through six. There are VHF high antennas designed to pick up channels 7 through 13 and UHF antennas are designed to pick up channels 14 and above. I should also mention there are several antenna models that have VHF and UHF elements that allow you to pick up both UHF and VHF channels without the need for connecting two separate antennas. Now, before you get too attached to the channel numbers I listed, there's something that you guys need to be aware of. Most TV stations are not broadcasting on the channel that I identify as. I'm going to use the New York market as an example. In New York, there is CBS2, NBC4, Fox 5, ABC 7, and My 9 are some of the bigger stations. So most of you will probably think, okay, CBS 2 is on channel 2, NBC 4 is on channel 4, Fox 5 is on channel 5, we'll need a low VHF antenna to pick up those stations. That's not really the case. If you look at this diagram that I made, these are the channels that they identify as back from the analog days, and these are the channels they are actually broadcasting on. You can see that CBS and NBC are actually on UHF, the same with Fox 5. Now, a way to determine what TV channels your local stations are broadcasting on is to go to tvfool.com, type in your address, and then look for the real channel number, not the virtual number. The virtual number is the channel number they identify as because CBS2 has been CBS2 forever. They're not going to automatically change this random number just to correspond to the frequency they're on. From there, you'll be able to determine what kind of antenna you need. Some of you may have all UHF stations, so you just buy a UHF antenna. Some of you will have VHF high and UHF. VHF stations, and others of you will have a VHF low station, which requires a certain kind of antenna. So now I'm going to get into the actual antennas. The first antenna I'm going to explain is the UHF antenna. UHF is where probably 60 to 70 percent of the broadcast stations in the United States broadcast on. UHF is mostly line of sight, so it doesn't do the best job going over mountains and, you know, going through valleys and stuff like that. So height is key when installing an antenna to pick up these stations. They either have a sideways X or a sideways 8, but sometimes they have little lines that are going through roughly about 4 inches in length. Those are designed to pick up UHF stations, and they probably won't do a good job picking up VHF stations because those are totally different frequencies. Next, I'm going to explain high VHF antennas. High VHF antennas kind of have a long element. Think of rabbit ears back in the day. It's a really long line. Here's an example of a UHF antenna on the Clearstream 4V. It also has UHF elements. As I mentioned, that kind of eight figure picks up UHF signals. And then that long element in the back picks up the VHF high stations. Notice that this flat panel does not have a VHF element, so it's not going to pick up VHF stations well. Finally, I'm going to get into the problematic VHF low stations. Those of you in Philadelphia know exactly what I'm talking about, having trouble picking up 6ABC. VHF low antennas have a very, very long element, and there's not that many of them around. In fact, I find that like 95 to 98% of antennas out there don't have the proper VHF low elements to pick up these stations. Here's an example of a VHF low element on a VHF UHF combo antenna on this wine guard. You can see it's a very, very long element all the way on the end, but you need that length in order to pick up those low band channels. So if you live in an area with a VHF low station that you want to pick up, you want to make sure you purchase an antenna that has a long enough element in order to pick up those low band frequencies. Otherwise, a smaller antenna just won't pick up those stations. So all this information can be a little bit overwhelming for those of you that are just kind of considering cutting the cord and don't know much about antennas. Feel free to leave a comment in the comments section about where you are located and I can tell you what antenna you would need. Subscribe to my channel for more cord cutting updates and have an awesome day.